We have a very, very special guest in the building tonight. Heading from New York City, indeed. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're South Bronx to be exact. Bronx to be exact. The Bronx to be yes, exact. Yes, yes. The home where hip hop started, right? Man, you got to put a the in front of the Bronx. Oh, man. It's the, not just the, Bronx. The, the. the only borough in New York City that has a the in okay, front of it. Okay, the Bronx. Sorry, sir. I stand corrected. <laughs> so, a man that's, you know, a bit behind many songs, many hits, many classics that, you know, you hear on your radio, in the clubs, on your Spotify now, on all the streaming <laughs> services. Title. Know Title, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just title, I like that. <laughs> Representing Rotten Nation, Mr. Lenny, yes, how are you, sir? What's up, my brother? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, bruv, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're in London now, bro. You know? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I appreciate you having me, man. Yes, thank you for coming. It means a lot. Yes, thank you for Seriously. coming through. So, um, where do we start, bro? I'm here, man. There's, there's a lot of things to get into, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So, um, you start off... Uh, what, a Bad Boy Street Team, right? Yeah, Street Team. Started the Bad Boy Street Team, yeah. made my way over to Rockefeller Records, yeah, yeah, where, yeah. you know, it was a dream to work over there. Yeah. Uh, got on that Street Team, and then uh, maybe a year later, got into the A&R department and right. never looked back, bro. I never looked back, indeed. 20 That's years a- ago, bro, I never looked back. That's a big look. And um, can you talk to me about the record, the, the record I'm playing in the background right now, please? It's our oh shit! Actually, I don't know if you noticed or not, but this is the first record I ever A and R. Yeah, I know. Real, real, real. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you do what you do, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed, yes, <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. First time I um had to go in the studio, man. I was uh tasked with doing the Streets is Watching soundtrack. Okay. And uh, you know I'm nervous. Obviously, it's gonna be my first time in the studio as a as an A and R. Damn, <laughs> we got the vinyl here. I got here. the vinyl here. Oh yeah. <laughs> man, I took pictures in the back of that. Some okay, of them. okay, that's okay. A, yeah. So um first day in the studio, Jay Z. Uh, a producer by the name of Mahogany right. and Memphis Bleak. Yeah, yeah, and we yeah. did this record. It's all right. My first record at A&R. Sick. Can we get into it right now? Yeah, let's do it. You know what Memphis Bleak stands for? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you don't know that, man. Wait, wait. Making easy money, peeping hoes in states. Wow. In style. In style. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Come wow. On. That was good. I'm impressed. Come on. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to M. Easy indeed. Yes, sir. Yes, I am. Um, it's Capital X of the Norte Show. Special guest Lenny S. from Rock Nation. You won't remember this, but um, I've interviewed you before. Nine years ago in New York City. Um, it was at an Obama night. I think it was Tony Touch's night. It you're was Toka right. Tuesday. And I was representing with Jump Off TV. You're right, you're and, right. And Questlove was on the decks as <laughs> yeah. well. And he was like, why are you interviewing me? I was like, don't ever say that. Yeah, yeah you're right. So that's you're almost, right. what, 10 years now? Right? Yeah, man. I didn't know how to embrace my... Uh... <laughs> My contribution to the culture, I guess. Yeah, embrace it, man. You're doing a lot. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm trying, man. So you're wearing a lot of hats. So, um... I only wear one hat, a Rock Nation hat. Okay, yes, no, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did it work? What was the transition from Def Jam? Because you was at Def Jam <clears throat> and Rock... And- yeah, basically, good question, man. Um, I was at Def Jam because... Jay was the president at Def right. Jam. Jay okay. and then L.A. Reid was the CEO. Okay. Jay was the president, so we were there for a few years. And then Jay wanted to um, start Rock Nation, obviously. Departed from Def Jam, started Rock Nation. But at the time, you know, we had a whole bunch of artists there from, like, Fabulous, oh my God, you know, Kanye, Rihanna. Yeah, yeah. You know, we were working with Neo at the time. Ghostface. Um, Ghostface. Yeah. Like, you know, just so many artists that we had either signed or that we had, you know, uh, contribution in with their albums and stuff. So L.A. and Jay thought that somebody from the crew should stay behind and kind of just, like, watch after everything that we had going on. Right. So that was me. So Jay Brown, Tata, and Jay-Z and everybody went over to start Rock Nation. Okay. And then I stayed behind just to look after our artists or acts that we had on Def Jam. And I stayed there a few years until things got moving and, you know, was in motion. So what's that? Two checks? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, no, no. I was just that. In, in spirit yeah, and in heart, yeah, I was yeah. always rock. Okay but, okay, but at that time, I was just Def Jam, man, sick, for sure. Sick, sick. And I love so, it. I love my, my stint there. Got to work with Ross and yeah. Khaled, obviously. Signed Khaled over yes, there, the yes. label deal. And, uh, you know, Neo, Dream, just everybody, man. It was great. Wow. So the relationship with Khaled was a long time ago. Oh, a long time, man. I used to help him. Um, you know, he would always have all these artists on his records. Yeah. So I used to. I usually worked at a label that he needed clearances from. Okay. And I would go in there and be like, DJ Khaled has six artists on this and we need to clear it. Yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? Unless we own the record. Like, nah, he owns it. Why? It's hot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just used to fight for him as far as like when he was making these records and putting them out. And, you know, most other labels don't want to really give you that much. 
yeah, freedom true. to true. like use their artists. So true. we developed a relationship from then, gave him his deal. Uh, me and my man Shakir Stewart, God bless Shakir. Me and Shakir gave Khaled his deal okay. at Def Jam where he's where um, we the best record started. Right. And then from there we held a great relationship, and now it turned into management. The rest is history. My God. So you're 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 so you're at, uh, at Rock Nation. So you're managing him. Yeah, manager Rock Nation. Um, I used to do both A and R and manager and yeah. lifestyle marketing. You know, damn near I wear a couple of hats, but um, uh, specifically management is my job. Okay. So I Rock Nation though. You're Rock, at Rock Nation. Yeah. So I I manage and sign clients. You know. I manage them, but they're through Rock Nation. So Rock Nation obviously manages them. Let's just say I'm the point person. Right, I got you. Yeah, so like uh, Fabulous, Khaled, you know, um, a bunch of people, man. That's a lot going on. You're actually quite busy. Yeah, <laughs> trying. Can we get into this classic right now? Let's do it. Uh-huh. Told ya. Jigger, Members Bleak, Dynasty. Beanie Siegel, Emilion, go. Where's Yo, huh? where's Emilion? I think in North Carolina somewhere. Oh. <laughs> She felt that, she felt that really. <laughs> Every time you say that, does she feel it? Oh man. I spoke to her like a few years ago, man. She was doing great, you know, raising the kids and stuff and just okay. working and living a good what's life. She, what's she doing now? Um, I don't know exactly what she was doing, but yeah, she was, she was good. <laughs> Crazy. What was the show when um, Jay-Z brought everyone out Everyone out, and uh, Beanie was there? Beanie was in tears almost. Yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a show we did in New York City because uh, it was like the first time they had seen each other in years. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, it was a great, great, great show. It was an intimate show in New York and, um, you know, it was like B-sides, a lot of the classics, not, and not just the commercial classics, the yeah. street classics, you know? And uh, Beanie, everybody came through, man, and it was it was... It was an emotional day. Yo, yo, there was a time when, like, I mean, the crew, the gang, no one was Unstoppable. 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 I mean, I'm a fan. It's like I was part of the crew myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were. Beans, Bleak, <laughs> Chain Gang, Esquino Vasquez, you know? Crazy, yo. man. The whole Philly crew, yeah. the whole state property. Then later on, you know, we got Dipset and oh we had Rock and we God. had every, everybody involved. Oh it was just my God. Cra- unstoppable. You went on tour on the road. I mean, can we talk numbers? What kind of numbers... What have you seen? What kind of numbers? Albums, singles. <laughs> what have you been involved in? Please talk some. I numbers. mean, I mean, you know, I mean, it's kind of public knowledge. Just you know, millions and millions of records sold, and you know, the concert arenas, you know, sold out, and and just more than that, though, like that stuff is good. Right. I'm really more excited about being part of the culture and what happened and the movements that were made and the and how people were following the style of dress or the right. or the slang or yeah. just the records in general and how the records till this day from either. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, still play as if they just came out, you know, last week. That's, Some that's, 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 that's my, you know, that's what I get excited about. <laughs> Some real, real classics indeed as well. So, um, see when you left, when you was, when you left Def Jam, were the artists still hollering at you to work with them or? Um, you- yeah. So that, you know, it's funny, Dan, like, good questions, man. I'm trying. Nah, <laughs> so, you know, I was fabulous as A&R at yes. Def Jam. Right. So then when I went to uh, Rock Nation and now I was no longer there. Um, that's when he asked me to manage him. Okay. So so I went right out of the A and R role, right into the management role. He was my brother already from before. You know, he really got on on. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Clue used to bring him around really early. So we met yeah, yeah, like on the Hard Knock Life tour. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So we were friends, and then doing his albums, and then like you know, I would help get like an endorsement deal or help put together a tour. I put him on tour with Jay one time. Same. They did a nice run. So it's like I was doing these managerial duties, not knowing that. You know, not being his manager, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. And then it was so it was a seamless transition, bro. How do you, how, how do you, with your team? How's your team? Because you're doing a lot. Yeah, I got a good team, man. I got yeah, a good yeah. team that holds me down. Uh, two of us left us recently, you know, but um, they moved on to <laughs> <laughs> on and better things. Nah, but I got a the, the whole rock team. You know, it's, it's a staff of a hundred and probably fifty people. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, New York, L.A., and all over. So we have an amazing team, amazing structure, yeah. branding department, marketing, yeah. digital, everything, bro. Everything, everything. Cheers, everything. cheers, cheers. Talk to you about Mac Wiles, please. Mac Wiles, bro, it's my bro. Ah. Mac is good, man. Working on music and acting, you know. He's just trying to keep a good balance. He's just coming off those two shows he did. Uh, one was on Fox, Shots Fired, okay. and the other one was on VH1, uh, The Breaks. So you know, doing his thing, uh, working on another project right now. So he's just doing that, doing auditions one day, studio the next day, audition <laughs> studio. And you're managing him, right? Yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir, it's my guy. Lenny, yes, live in the building, Rock Nation Empire. The Norte Show Capital Extra. Let's get into this. Let's go. Own it. Nothing's too much. Words that I 
So when you was growing up, who are you listening to? Uh, them, New Edition. Yeah. Um, Run DMC is the first group that I heard that inspired me to be in the music business. Sick. They're the, they're the guys I heard on the radio and I saw visuals of and I saw them like, you know, just their swag and everything they had was like, ah, oh, I gotta be that. I wanna yeah, yeah. be that. I wanna yeah. be Run. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, um, them and then, you know, everybody else was, you know, Big Daddy Kane and, you know, Crazy. Bismarck and G Rap and yeah, yeah, KRS yeah, yeah. One was my idol. I was from the Bronx, you know. Crazy, okay. So, okay. yeah, all of that, man. I must say, Run DMC, they were definitely innovative as well. They had the, 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 the fitted jeans and the bomber jackets Ooh, and what? the Adidas. Early. Adidas, we say Adidas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adidas. No, no, no. <laughs> Adidas. Adidas. And they had the first like endorsement deal, like as rappers, you know what I'm saying? That was right. crazy. Wow, wow, wow. It's massive. So, um, you're doing movies as well, or at Rock Nation, or? Um, we, yeah, there's a division, a uh, film and television division that uh, my friend Shaka. Pilgrim yes, works with Jay right, and yeah. um, they're working on some stuff now. Uh, she's the one that you know did all the uh, producing for the uh, 444 footnotes Crazy. and all those videos Crazy. and everything. That way, yeah, yeah. So um, it's, it's taking off. The next story or film, I believe, is the Trayvon Martin, oh. for, if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Working on that. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, man. Oh, man. All right, cool. So, fabulous. One of the do you know what? He's one of the most consistent rappers, period. He's always in the game. So I mean, good. I mean. He's been around since. Yeah, yeah, he's been around. Like, so, what do you, do you think he needs anything else right now? Or? Fab is good. Fab, Fab is consistent, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And really good, consistent. And he evolves and he changes with the time, but with everything music, style, fashion. Because, like, you know, most guys that came from the time or era he came are still, you know, well, not most, but some of them are still living in that time or in that sort of bubble or, right. you know, whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they can't evolve past where it's like, you know, Fab will do records with. Lil Uzi Vert and you know and Future and just just everybody of current time he just he progresses and he True. evolves well, every year man and the thing is because he's, he's just cool he's just nice yeah, yeah, yeah. you know he's just nice in the cut literally and he always gets through you know what I mean yeah, let's man. get into this one What's I got a funny called? story about this record hey, you got a story yeah quick I got, go 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 I had, a, I had, a, I had an ex-girlfriend oh, who, wow. uh, who did music yeah man and wait I, I know her no, sorry. <laughs> Manny, I'm doing too much. Sorry. And um, <laughs> uh, I got her in the studio with Ryan Leslie. Ryan Leslie did this track. Okay, yeah. Yeah, right. man. So she did the track, and then, you know, she had this track, and it was amazing, and I thought she was going to do an amazing song to it. Oh, and it then was hers. It was hers. Okay. And then um, nothing happened with it. Like a week or two went by, and I gave the beat to Fab, and I was like, yo, check this out. I was like, this is Ryan Leslie Joyner here. That's crazy. Somebody else had it, but they're not doing with it. Nothing with it. See what you think. Next day, he recorded this record. Are you and, serious? And a single took off and the rest is history Zzz. did the, the the person that recorded it before did they regret that uh, they didn't even actually record it they just oh. sat on it they were going to and didn't it was all love it's a funny story yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, like yeah, 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 I caught yeah, yeah. a little bit of heat behind that you know <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, Lenny, what's it like working with Jigga Jay-Z, Mr. Essot Carter? Oh, uh, man, the best thing that could ever happen to my life besides oh my, my kids, you oh know? Oh, my God. Real shit, man. Oh. It's, it's cool. Real Sorry stuff, about that. you know? Real <laughs> stuff, real stuff. Yo, man, you can't curse, bro. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Best thing ever, man. I mean... I kind of felt he was going to be something like who he is now. Right. Obviously not as big. He's he's conquered and, and done things that, you know, none of us could probably fathom or oh imagine. God, but I just, I still knew that there was going to be some sort of, you know, genius level, you know, conquering all kind of like barriers and stuff and getting by in music and entertainment and fashion and whatever the case may be. Yeah. And that's why I stuck around, you know, and it's good to tell that story now because when you tell that story in the beginning, you're like, nah, we're the best and all that stuff. People just think you're being biased, you yeah, know what I'm true. saying? And uh, I'm obviously not at all. I've made a career of it. Of it. It's my life. It's yeah. my lifestyle. Yeah. He's my brother. He's my boss. He's Crazy. My, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. So, and, and everybody that works with us, the whole entire family, you know what I'm saying? From Tata and, and just everybody, guru, you know yes. what I'm saying? So it's literally a family, you know what I mean? And I, and I knew this would happen, just not to this magnitude. Okay, okay, wow. okay. Tell the people about when you first met Jay. Uh, first met Jay out and about in the street, man, promoting, man. I just, I made it my, like, duty to, like, make sure I'm at every music event so people could see my face and eventually maybe the, fil the familiarity would, like, help them be like, okay, what is this guy, what does he do? Make them curious, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also meeting people and, and you know, just, just making my mark in the business, uh, like that, just the, the most simple form yeah, yeah, of just yeah, getting yeah. them getting used to me, and that's how we really met. You know what I'm saying? I was I was promoting. I remember, I remember. Um, yeah, I heard you say yesterday in your talk that um, 
he wasn't really messing with you because he saw you doing all the stuff for Bad Boy. Yeah, man, because you know I was on the Bad Boy Street team, yeah, so yeah. and 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 that was like a uniform. You got a Bad Boy jacket, yeah, true, true. Bad Boy T-shirt, yeah. Bad Boy pants. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like the, the uniform, you were holding up Bad Boy signs. Yeah. So everywhere people saw you, you were like that, which was good. You know what yeah. I mean? Like they they remembered you for that, and but it was like a real, real like team. So um, that's what he remembered. So when I went to apply for you know to be street team or just to work or internship at rockefeller he was like oh no 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 you're not, you're not. get out of here bro you're a bad boy bro you're not. get out of my office man and then i just proved myself you know what i mean and getting stayed consistent and stayed loyal and promoted rockefeller record stuff until i got on my god so you went from the intern yeah. at rockefeller yeah to what are you now please sir um now i'm Senior Vice President. Uh, I mean, talk, I don't know what talk, that means. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> yeah, I swear I don't really use titles, man. I've been there forever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just. People ask me sometimes what title yeah. is. I'm like, man, I don't know, man. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just a part of the team, you know. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, talk to me about Hovey, baby, please. Oh man, another Just Blaze. Oh my goodness, Production. Yo. Just Blaze, man. <sighs> that guy. That time was so glorious. Still is, obviously. But I mean, like him and Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Just doing all of those tracks. And, and Bink as well contributed, yes, you know what I'm saying? But like, man, like, Just is my absolute favorite. It was just so hard. Other tracks were good. Other tracks people did, they they, they sat on like five and six and yeah. just, well, but when like Just and like Rizzo just, and, and Premier, when well, them guys did beats, it's like Kanye, like, why is this yeah, yeah. stuff yeah. slamming so much harder? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, man, it was this gift he had, has. Is he still not writing anything down when he's when he's writing? Never, the never, 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 never. How ironic it is that he's the first rapper into the so, um, songwriters Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame for real. So for songwriting, and he's never written. And he's never written anything down. Never, yeah. What, 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 what? of a mind is that what, is he not a racist? honestly i wish i could answer that a genius mind i can't say that it's just incredible to watch it you know what i mean it's incredible to watch him get a beat you know watch him play it watch him nod his head to it yeah. you know turn the beat down for a second look up in the sky or look up in the the ceiling and, and come with some words turn the beat back up you know five seven eight minutes later go in the booth and say go go, go record me and just like come out with a verse that's insane, bro. And he does that. And he's got the whole verse every and the time. whole song. Really? Yeah, I mean, not the whole song in seven minutes every time, but I'm saying okay. for the most part yeah, yeah, yeah. of listening, it doesn't take long to get it started or to get the verse or to get the hook or, and just, man, just with no pad, no pen, no, let me go back, let me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Has, have you ever seen him on stage forget a lot of lyrics or? Uh, I think every artist has yeah, forgotten yeah. lyrics. He's got so many, how many, how many albums? I can just remember, come yeah. on, man, bro. 13, 14 <laughs> albums. That's and, mad. Man. And half of the world. A lot of them are classics as well. Oh, man. What's your, what's your, what's your, because that tends to vary. What's your classic Jay-Z albums? Well, three, three, three. Reasonable Doubt. Yep, agreed. Blueprints. Agreed. Standard. Agreed. Do you know what album I liked? I love the Dynasty as well, you know? Everybody's third is always like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like Black as well, but Black as well. That too. 444 is a classic. <sighs> it is. Yeah. No, no, you got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, no, mine's reasonable yeah. blueprint, and then it goes back and forth. Yeah, that's right. Between like, like, uh, like you said, um, the Black Album and exactly. like something else. But yeah. One of my favorite tunes, let's talk about tunes, like... All out of veto. I'm mm -hmm. loving that. All I mean, there's so many. There's a zillion. I got one. I mean, no, no. I may have, I have a million, but yeah. My absolute favorite Jay Z song in the world is PSA, Public Service. Oh, really? We'll get into that. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. Oh my God! Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Oh, H to the O V. I used to move snowflakes by the O Z. So, talk to me about when you met DJ Khaled. I met Khaled a long time ago, just going, taking trips to Miami. Obviously, yeah. we would always go to Miami. There was producers down there. You would go see Cool and Dre and, cool and, Dre. and just, you know, different, different different producers and writers that were working down there. And I would always go to the clubs, obviously. And Khaled was just always doing his thing. I would see him in the club. He's always breaking records. Yeah. And then, you know, those breaking and I hear him on the radio. And, um, you know, we would give him records, obviously, too, to play. Yeah. So that turned into, like him now, you know, making a mixtape and then now producing a record and now getting this artist and this producer and this writer and that turned into that. And um, 
I was in awe. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I thought he was like P. Diddy, Irv Gotti, uh, Dr. Dre, like all these guys in one. Like, wow. he was making the record, breaking the record on the radio, producing the record, arranging the record like Quincy Jones. Yeah. Like, people just think he's like screaming his name on a record that somebody handed him. Nah, nah bro. Nah, 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 nah. He's really like, oh, I want that sample. I tell this producer to make that beat. From there, I want this person to write this hook. From there, I want this person to do this six bars. I want this other person to bring in this emotion. Yeah. He's really putting it together like an arrangement. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, And he knows he's got the ear as well. You know, nah, he's the greatest just, A&R ever. He's killing it. And you're doing crazy business right now. Man, we're trying, man. We're just trying to take him to the next level every yeah. year. We, you know, come with some hits and we come with some good deals and we come with some good films and yeah, yeah, we yeah. just want to double and triple it every year we go, you know? Do you know, out of everything, all the deals you've done, there was one thing I saw. I said, nah, you lot are taking a mickey. I'm like, how did you that? There was one thing I thought, nah. Which one, which one? I almost cried. It was when DJ Khaled was in a commercial with Spider-Man. Oh, man. Is there anyone... Wow, you're DJ Khaled. Yo! By the way, you know that was a real Spider-Man. That was a real Spider-Man. That wasn't like a, like an actor who came by. It was the Spider-Man. The Spider-Man that was in the that movie. killed me. I'm a big crazy. superhero fan. That was big. Crazy. I that that killed me in the... Um, um, we did a... Uh, um, oh, man, the milk commercial for... Um, what was it? Um, oh, God, what's the almond milk? We did an almond milk commercial. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Like, oh, we're in an almond... <laughs> like, like, Khaled is a... DJ from Miami. Like, I mean, he's an artist. He's a personality. But I mean, originally, yeah. he's like a DJ from Miami for just, real, just playing records at the station. Yeah. We're doing an almond milk commercial, Almond bro. milk. Yeah, that's mine. Making smoothies. Silk. Almond milk. Bananas. Another one. Silk. Almond milk. Bananas. Mm -hmm. Now you're on vacation. Many, many, many. I got a crazy story about this song. Oh, really? <laughs> now, nah, really quick, really quick. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> so I'm in Miami, right? I'm going to see Khaled. Yeah. He's like, yo, I got to play you my new records. I got to clear some artists. Got some people on there. I'm like, cool, bet. He plays me this record. Yeah. I'm so hood. By the way, I think this record is the dopest thing ever at it's the a time, big right? Record. And it's not out. It's not out okay, yet. Okay, okay. So I'm like, yo, Khaled, I'm thinking about, you know, trying to get it for Jay or just, just our guys. So I'm like, yo, Khaled, let me buy this record off of you. <laughs> and he's like, nah, bro, stop, bro. And I'm like, nah, Khaled, what you want? I'm going to give you 50000 Like, and this is back then where, like, you know, Khaled wasn't getting like big money for his track. He was just using his tracks for his album. Yeah. He wasn't like producing tracks yeah. like that, you know, for outside people. I was like, yo, I'll give you 75,000. You offered him I'll, 75 bags for this? I said, I'll give you 100. Yeah. I offered Khaled, I went up to like 150. By the way, Seriously? I had no authority <laughs> to, 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 to offer anything above probably 25 grand. Yeah, yeah. And I'm texting Jay like, yo, this dude Khaled just played me this I'm So Hood record is so crazy i'm gonna get it from him. he's like get it get it do what you gotta do yeah. so i took that as like Khaled 150 bottom line oh, bro Khaled respects and loves the art and his music so much and knows what he was doing and his plan yeah. to build himself and this was one of the records i was going to build and i did the same thing with all i do is win that's mad. um that he never he never even budged bro he oh, never really? none of that money just at all and i'm so, sure 150 at that time that was, was a, a nice little bag. Yeah, for real. Was who was was anyone on the chorus? Was T Pain on the chorus then? No, the song was I think maybe maybe just one or two verses were missing. Okay. But like like tip most of it was done. Okay, okay. And I was just I was just either gonna take how it was and just yeah. maybe just add Jay or whoever, yeah. Beanie Siegel. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. like take the song and the hook yeah, yeah. and then use the other guys maybe as the remix. I had my mind was just young A and R just trying to make it happen, you know? <laughs> DJ Khaled's got a lot of hits. A lot. And you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, No, it bothers me sometimes I feel like we still have to prove ourselves. Like every time we try to get a certain, maybe a, a concert or a certain magazine cover or something, they're like, yeah, yeah. well, what's Khaled doing lately? What's going on? It's like, what? Yeah, yeah. Do you see the 19 campaigns? Do you see the four hits? Do you see the biggest record on the chart? We're not doing like, and not that there's nothing wrong with this, but we're not doing like dope hip hop records that yeah. are just like, dope in the hip-hop community mm. we're doing like hits bro hits. big hits like chart topping last year what was a there was only probably one record right bigger than than the rihanna record was what was it i don't even think there was one bigger was it yeah 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 no no the, um the um, oh man was the record the, yeah, this one. no 
There was only like one record bigger than Wild Thoughts. It was um. Yeah, Despacito. Oh, Despacito. Was probably it. I mean, okay, you know what I'm okay, saying? Like, yeah, that, yeah. my point is, that's how big these records are. And it's like, man. Do, do, do you feel you have to prove yourself? What, are you feeling the hate? Or are you feeling it from No, 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 hey, I'm not saying that at all. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm saying, you know, some people have a different way of translating. It's not hate to us. It's just True. people just want to make you work harder, want to keep making you prove yourselves or act like what you've done isn't good or big enough. So, right. like, you know. But um, sometimes when you, you just have to, like, lay it out on the line. Because we had... um. We had a little trouble with getting a magazine cover a while ago. Okay. I won't say the name, but no, but but after like we spoke and I spoke to the editor and I spoke to the staff and laid out everything Kyla had did, it was like, you know what? You're actually right. You know what I mean? Let's talk, let's consider this, let's meet him and they met and, and it happened. But okay. you know what I mean? Like you have to really, literally be like, He's doing this, he's doing Coachella, he's doing that, yeah, he's yeah, got, yeah. got this cover, yeah. he got this right, he got three songs on the charts, yeah. two of them went number one, like yeah. He did this tour, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. jeez. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I, I, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. It's a lot. But with the, I don't know. What's your outlook on a guy like that here? Because you guys over here, it's, yeah, I do the it's same from thing. a distance. And, and you do it. Yeah, you feel it, to be honest. You do feel it. You do have to prove yourself. But it's like that you, you continuously prove yourself anyway. Yeah. And they've got nothing to say. Exactly. That's what it is. Just kill them with kindness <laughs> and kill them with more success. No, nah, you're you know right, you're right. Yes, indeed. Anyway, listen. How did you get Jay Z and Beyonce on not one, Whew. but two tunes? Beyonce Jeez, don't jump on. Man. No one's tunes like that. Beyonce is like. To be honest, to be honest, like DJs. Thank you, Queen. Oh wow, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Be no Beezus. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Beezus, for real. <laughs> nah, I mean you know, um, you know, nobody gets Beyonce to do anything. No, nope. and I mean that in the most positive amazing way yeah, yeah. she does <laughs> what she wants yeah for real. Nah, but i mean uh, the relationship i mean we all have a relationship obviously but the relationship is with is myself jay and khaled and yeah. you know we have an amazing relationship and, and jay is a is a khaled fan yeah you know what i'm saying and okay. I, I helped develop that relationship from years ago right you know i used to beg jay to get on khaled records and hear him out and he listened and he you know he's been a fan of his for yeah. years and you know he started doing records you know a while ago you yeah, know what i'm true, saying true. and then even Khaled developing his own relationship. That's how also the Ross stuff would come. Ross had a relationship with Jay, and then Khaled was Ross's A and R. Right. So now right. Ross, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And Khaled yeah, and Ross yeah. would go to Jay for records, and uh, you know I'm just the conduit. Conduit. I'm just the guy, you know, who connects the dots. But um, yeah, they start out with Jay always. Right. And you know, if Jay's feeling amazing and if he's feeling great, yeah, you know, he plays it for his wife, and you know, <laughs> what happens from there happens, bro. So talk to you about shining. So shining. Shining, um, yeah, yeah. It was, again, it was a, you know, Jay Z started out with Jay as always. Loved the record. Yeah. I mean, that's his life partner. You know what I'm saying? It's his True. wife. So I'm, I assume you're gonna share things with her and played it for her. And uh, we were at a Christmas party, Rock Nation Christmas party. Okay. And, yeah, um, and Cal Nation, yeah, Cal 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 told the story, and um, you know, we was sitting there, and, and Beyonce walked in, and she like came up to us and grabbed Khaled by the shoulders and was like. Beyonce I grabbed Khaled. Lo I love that record. Oh my and we were like, God, cosign of the millennium. What? We were like, what record? What record? <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, so that's how that's how that happened, man. No. Uh, boy. Again, you know, we don't we don't bother, you know, that's our brother's wife. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Beyonce, but you know what I mean? We don't we don't cross those lines, bro. Yo. You know what I'm saying? So we just let things and God True. take its course. And the rest is history. Shining, 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 yeah. Shining, yeah. All of this winning, I've been losing my mind. So, um, let's take our time here with Top Off. When I saw your post, your Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which door? Oh, okay, no, I wanted no. to jump in the phone and scream. <laughs> yeah, you said, we're not, you think we're playing games this year or something like that? Zero games. I was like, because I saw, I saw Khaled say there's an announcement tomorrow. Yeah. And then someone, my boy, uh, my boy Dreddy, he DM'd me. Dreddy's my guy. Yeah, Producer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, my yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, that's my guy as well. He goes, he DM'd me, he goes, Man, look at this. I said, <laughs> yo! I was like, nah, not again. Yo, I get so hyped with those. Like, people, you know, I, that's why I know I do what I love, man. Yeah. And I love what I do because, like, I still get excited about those things. I'm still, like, Trump. itching. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, and, like, Khaled will even let me pop off first sometimes. And, you know, even Jay sometimes will be like, yeah, yeah. Let him know about that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> gladly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, man, we, uh, you know, 
being in the development process and watching this thing go through, it's like, you know, man, it's amazing. You you know the feeling, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an amazing thing. And I'm, I'm in awe every time. And I'm humbled and, and honored to even be, you know, in the room watching yeah. these things happen. So yeah. and helping to make it happen. So when it happens and it's done and you know it's coming and you know we have another week or two every day is like we're so anxious me and Khaled we're talking 20 times a day if I'm not with him it's just like yo seven days six days you got your speech ready you got your talk ready like you know what I'm saying we excited like we work hard bro I see that we just want to show people like we're doing this for y'all. And you and you reap what you sow, you know what I mean? Everything's coming back. You put it in and you're putting it on for the, 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 the scene, the mm-hmm. culture as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Trying, man. So, um, top off. Top off. Again, same thing. Hey, Future. Jay, how you doing, man? My name is Lenny. This is Khaled. <laughs> um, I want to play you something. Yeah. Uh, maybe you like it. Maybe you won't. And again, man, it's, it's always on Jay, bro. It's like you sat down with Jay and you played it to him. Always. Go to see him. Where, where, where was this? Where was this? Where was you this? go to see Jay in the estate. Oh. You know <laughs> I mean, you know, did you see the pictures, man? People yeah, 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 people have yeah, been posting. Yeah. You go see him at the estate. He's like the godfather. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> go and you, 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 you wait for a meeting. Yeah. You get the green light. You go to the gate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, he's what's waiting, he, for, he, he's, cognac? He's waiting for you with wine or cognac. <laughs> and, man, he's already in the zone. And he's like, you know, how could I help you? Yeah. <laughs> we're like, we like to play this little record we have, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And you know, Khaled does his talk. Khaled, Khaled literally pitches his record, you know what I'm saying? Like, th- I think that's how most of them really get done and really the artists see the vision. Khaled, we don't send records. We don't, it's not an ego thing. It's, it's none of that. It's just, he produced this record. He had a vision for this record. Right. Everybody that's on these records, there was a vision for it. This okay. is not like, oh, I bumped into... Scissor and she wanted to jump on it's nothing it's like okay. Len I got this record oh even if he's asking me what I think or just if he has it already done I want you know Kendrick you know Cole yeah. and I want Mary J Blige you know what I mean like he has it all in his head there how much how long so See. this record you know we had Jay uh, Future always works with us Future comes in and just bangs things out oh the minute God. Future did that hook Jay Khaled knew like we, we gotta play this with Jay we got to uh, and future bang that out oh man Woo. so anyway did that and then that's the procedure man you go you play for him and you hope he likes it or you hope he's even interested in like messing with it and then he looked up and when he looks up he starts thinking of like lyrics <laughs> and that's the first indication man yeah. so you know it's that same Woo. DJ Khaled I the top of the main back I see the top of the main back I see the top of the main bank. I see the top of the main bank. Top five producers. Pharrell, Just Blaze, yep. Timberland, yep. Dr. Dre. Come on. Oh. The last one, take time. <laughs> I know. Last one always, I, you know? Because I'm talking about throughout. You know what? Yeah. Mm. Here's the thing. Oh, man. I love Marley Mall because, but I, but I feel like it stopped at a certain point. But like True. True. at the time, Big Daddy Kane album, Bismarck album, True. Roxanne Shantae, yeah. like he was doing same way like Timberland and Pharrell do. Yeah. These guys are doing Justin Timberlake album, True. True. Missy album, genuine, genuine. Like when you can do, you know what I'm saying? When Timberland can work on a Jay Z album yeah. and a Justin Timberlake album at the same time, two different sounds, two different genres. True. What? And those guys, all of I mentioned, have done it over and over and over True. again. So I don't know who the fifth one is, but it's hard. Definitely it? my my four. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Quincy Jones. Oh, Quincy, well, there you go. I'm an idiot. How so. can you not say Quincy? I hear you loud. I hear you loud. Yes, indeed. Okay, so um, on the run two, the tour. <laughs> Sold out in like a millisecond around the world. They had to add shows because they, they sold out add. so quick. And the thing is, it's not it's not like like no, it's this not is like the thing. Small like no, venues. No, no, no. It's not like arenas. It, we're, we're talking stadiums. Stadium. Stadium. By the way, they were selling out with pre like the, the people who can buy tickets in advance. It wasn't open to the public yet. That's mad. You know, like people on whatever, I guess, Amex or Ch- whatever, whatever the, the people who have special privileges yeah. Yeah. to get tickets with, you know, Live Nation or Ticketmaster or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Those things sold out before they got to the public. So they had to add shows, That's bro. mad. It's crazy. Yo. This is, this is two new artists that are just starting out, man. Uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> you know? Going out, man. It's their first tour, you know? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a crazy look. It's a crazy up. look. Um... I haven't got my tickets though. 
<laughs> Don't worry, man. I'll be here, man. I got you. Walk in with me. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. I've got it on record now. I've got it on record. Yeah, <laughs> done deal. Too easy. So, um, what else you got going on right now before we close? Man, um, hopefully if everything goes through with wireless and we're good. And yes, let's talk Cal- about wireless. Cal- let's Cal- talk about wireless. Coming, man. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, um, Cal's supposed to be coming through and ripping down the stage. Who's he bringing on uh, stage? Let's um, talk about it. Oh, man. We ain't got nobody, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, we're going to... <laughs> we're gonna be out there you know looking you know I don't know uh, maybe Velma Velma I know she got a song so we might let her come out and, and her artist that she had there yesterday yeah. what's the girl's Dominique name Dominique Lauren Dominique Dominique Lauren oh, okay. maybe Monique, they do a little, yeah, yeah. Do, little duet you know okay okay, okay uh, but that's okay. all we got bro it's kind of light you know so yeah, 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 yeah. there's gonna be some surprises I'm sure and uh, talk to me about wild thoughts please before you get out of here what was the story how did that come about because that you know when when when, when that first dropped mm-hmm. Every other girl on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat was filming the crowd. Yo. It's, by the way, it's the same thing with with Top Off yeah. with Beast Part. Yeah, with yeah, the girls. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's massive, bro. Yo. I mean, I've, again, another thing where I've gotten so many tags and stuff. Of, yeah. But um, same thing, man. You know, Khaled doing this thing. You know, we, we always trying to go for the biggest and the best. And, yeah. um, you know, got to, got to sit with her for a second and play at a record. And. She fell in love with it, she, you know, and then uh, Bryson's our boy. Like, He's yeah, our yeah. guy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. and, and, and Neil, his, his manager, we're all good friends. And Neil's who's manager? Uh, Neil, Neil is uh, Bryson Tiller's manager. Okay, not Neo, the singer Neil. No, 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 Neil, yeah, yeah. Uh, N-E-I-L. Okay, okay. Neil, uh, sorry, uh, Neil, American Neil. accent. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Man. Neil, okay, okay, Gotta okay. get my shit up, huh? <laughs> um, nah, so yeah, yeah, man, put that together and pff, history, again. Very, very Cal knows what he's doing, bro. He really, really does. Yo, Lenny S, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank bro. you, man. Hearing the stories, I could. I just want to just, you know what I mean? Just reminisce <laughs> every single day. Classic. I appreciate this, bro. Legendary appreciate you, stuff. love, love. And when you're coming back in the in the summer? July, yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, and we're going to hang out. Oh, yeah, we will.